This is where my journey began. I was born in 1964 in Altmagelvin Hospital in Londonderry, one of three siblings, and for me, this is where life began, here in Strathfoyle. Strathfoyle is a typical example of post-war social housing. When I was here, uh, it was relatively newly built, and this was our house. My dad worked in finance and my mum worked in uh, administration and interestingly when we lived here she worked in an architect's office. We moved closer into Derry City and I started my schooling in a background of increasing tension and the beginnings of the troubles here in Northern Ireland. This is the Alley Theatre in Strabane. It replaced the Town Hall, which was blown up in the Troubles in the 1970s. It's a shared community space where everybody can come together. It's been described as the best wee theatre in Ireland. And do you know what? We designed it. Here we are a few miles from Strabane and our theatre at this bridge that connects the villages of Claddy and Clonfin. And it's one of these many relatively busy but seamless connections between the north of Ireland and the south of Ireland. And this type of crossing has come back into focus because of Brexit. So here we are on the Falls Road in Belfast. And what I'm pleased to see is that we have a number of projects setting the markers for quality and an improving built environment. We have Radio Falsha um, just down there, which won an RAB award this year. And we have the Falls Road Leisure Centre, which won an RAB award a few years ago. It's great to see this concentration of high quality architecture in this area. It wasn't always like that. We are literally 30 seconds walk from the Falls Leisure Centre and we find this. This is one of the many peace walls that actually divide our city. And I believe it's up to architects and the work that they create to try and solve problems such as this and bring our communities together. This is Queen's University. I studied here, I graduated from here, and after practicing in London, I came back here to both practice and teach. Belfast, I believe, was one of Sir John Betjeman's favourite cities and he thought it was a fantastic mix of uh, periods. So we have Georgian, Victorian, uh, 20th century and we've added uh, more recently to that in terms of more contemporary architecture. Institutions and organisations can use architecture to inspire the communities that are around them to look to the future and to think of what they can achieve. Taking the Lyric Theatre as a really good example, designed by O'Donnell and Toomey, uh, our IBA gold medal winners. I think it's important to have those types of buildings on our doorstep here where we can really sort of show them as good examples of how to create new environments that really uh, respond to their context and also support exactly uh, what the client is trying to do. We all live in our communities wherever we are in the world and our former years can hinder us or can inspire us and support us to go on to do greater things. So that's my journey so far. I firmly believe we are better together. So it's not about me, it's about we.